Do you spend much of your life feeling stressed, tense, or exhausted? Do you wish you could make friends with your body and increase your strength and flexibility? Yoga is an ancient, science-backed practice that can provide relief from the demands of everyday life. My name is Katie McClelland, and I have been practicing and teaching yoga since 1997. I am passionate about sharing this practice, and I want to welcome you to Yoga with Katie. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I want to remind all of you at home that yoga is a goalless practice. And it can be really hard for us humans, you know, driven by the ego, always in hustle mode, to learn a new way of approaching an activity. And ultimately, it's meant to help us find a new way of approaching life off of the mat. The idea behind the time that you spend on the mat is to simply cultivate a profound relationship with your body and with your breath and to observe yourself in the moment and you'll find that even if you're practicing the same yoga asana or the same yoga pose day after day, your relationship to that pose will change depending on your energy level, depending on the tightness in your body, depending on the quality of your thoughts and depending on the state of your nervous system and even your emotional state as well. So the poses are meant to kind of act as a mirror that is held up so that we can gaze into all aspects of our being and learn more about ourselves and kind of tune out all of the noise that goes on all around us and to let go of our standards and our expectations, to let go of any agenda that we have for ourselves and any competitiveness that we have and to just simply be in the moment with the entirety of who we are and then to ultimately make friends with ourselves and to find that uh, self-compassion as well. So I just want to remind you of that as we move through today's practice. Can you truly just be present and curious and can you enjoy each moment, each breath, uh, moment by moment for this next 30 minute practice with me. So I have the lovely Nancy here and the lovely Emily. They're going to demonstrate the postures for today's practice. And let's start on our backs and we'll explore a very gentle pranayama practice, uh, a breath work practice that links a little bit of breath with movement. So as you come onto your back, I'll invite you to draw your knees into your chest Take a few slow, deep breaths in and out of the nose and maybe give a gentle rock from side to side, massaging out your back. And then cross your feet at the ankles. Hold on to the fronts of the shins just beneath the knees. And on an inhale, I want you to allow the legs to move away from you a little bit and your arms to straighten slightly. Your back may arch. And then as you exhale, I want you to gently draw the knees back in towards the chest, up towards the armpits, and the spine will round. Let's do that again together. Inhale, move the legs away from you. Let the belly puff out and the back arch. And then exhale like you're giving yourself a nourishing hug. Pull the knees up towards the armpits. Continue with this gentle linking of breath and movement, this gentle rocking motion for about six or seven more cycles. I want you to try less, okay? I want there to be less effort. I want you to smooth out any hard edges to this movement. Again, let go of any agenda that may have crept into your psyche. And imagine you're almost trying to rock a newborn baby to sleep here. So we're using this rocking and this breath as a soothing balm for the nervous system. I really love this gentle breath practice and I do it whenever I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed or frenetic or scattered or stressed. Okay, go ahead and give the knees a final squeeze in. 
and then stretch your right arm up by the side of your face roll yourself to your right side open your eyes if you had them closed and then push the left hand into the ground followed by the right and slowly spiral your spine all the way around to face the top of the mat <laughs> 